the Ritz method. Applying Ritz method one can find minimum of the functional, this very functional, in the energetic space capital HL generated by a positive definite operator in the space Hilbert space H. In the procedure, uh, first we choose a complete set of elements in the space HL phi 1, phi 2, phi n, infinite uh, set of elements in HL. The elements phi i for i equals 1, 2, 3 and so on are called Ritz coordinates in the space HL. The coordinates have to satisfy boundary value conditions. The Ritz approximation of an element U we find in the form of the following linear combination A1 phi 1 plus A2 phi 2 plus, plus An phi N. In order to get accuracy epsilon greater than zero for a given positive epsilon, we determine integer n and we find the coefficients a1, a2, a n for which the difference between the elements element u and its approximation is less than equal is less than uh, epsilon, given epsilon in the norm L L. We find the coefficients a1, a2, a n of the approximation u n equals a1 phi 1 a2 phi 2 plus plus a n phi n at which the functional the functional f attains minimum in n dimensional subspace of the space h x n spent on the uh, spent on the first n uh, Ritz coordinates phi 1 phi 2 phi n obviously u n belongs to x n approximates the element u in h l with the error which is the difference between the u n and that uh, 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 element u in order to determine the coefficients a1, a2, a n, we consider the following quadratic function of the variables phi 1 of uh, a1, a2, a n. This is the quadratic function. We say phi, capital phi of a1, a2, a n equals the value of the functional at the linear combination. Because the operator is linear one, then if we take uh, the formula for the operate for the functional f as uh, l u u minus 2 f u, then uh, we, we, we have l u n u n is the double sum. We enter with l under uh, linear combination a1 l f phi 1, uh, a2, l phi 2, and uh, l phi n, phi n, we have here, double sum, and that, um, uh, that term uh, minus 2 f u n is a single sum, that is, I think, uh, is a easy, uh, straightforward substitution of the argument, the linear combination, to the a formula for the uh, for the functional. This quadratic function has minimum because this entries, this uh, elements, this uh, inner products create a matrix uh, which is positive definite. So, quadratic function attains minimum if and only if the uh, the partial derivative. Uh, with respect to a k are zero. This this uh, uh, necessary condition. We know that this is necessary condition uh, for the mini uh, minimum. Uh, 
but in the case of quadratic function this necessary condition also is the sufficient uh, condition for existence of minimum of the very quadratic function. Okay, on the other hand we can evaluate the uh, derivatives. This will be the, uh, for the fixed k with the we take partial derivative with respect, respect to a k, then the coefficient at a k will be this single sum. So if we differentiate with respect to a k, we remain with this coefficient. Again, the coefficient uh, at uh, a k in the single sum will be this coefficient. So if we differentiate with respect to a k, we remain with this coefficient. So this derivative is to be equal zero at the point and the minimum. So comparing this with zero, we arrive with the system of linear equation, a rich system of linear equation, L phi one phi one a one plus L phi two uh, phi one a two plus plus L phi n phi one L uh, 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 that will be uh, an is not l here f phi one and the second equation and third equation and the last equation so we have n equations and n unknowns the matrix of that very system of equations a consists of the inner products yeah so the matrix is gram's matrix Matrix and from the mathematical analysis that the Gram's matrix of linearly dependent elements phi 1, phi 2, phi n uh, is positive definite and uh, non singular. Therefore, this system of equation has a unique solution a 1 star a 2 star a n star. So, uh, which is uh, which uh, uh, uniquely determines the approximate solution a n as a linear combination, as we have said. Example. Let us recall the example we have considered uh, before. Minus second derivative equals zero when x is from zero to half, minus four if x is uh, from half to. This is discontinuous kind of function, uh, right hand side given with the homogeneous boundary value conditions at 0, 0, at 1, uh, 0 again. So, we know that in the, uh, this example the energetic um, uh, space HL is the Sobolev space H W0, 1, 2 on 0, 1 interval. So, we choose the set of linearly dependent functions in the series uh, so we'll have space w0, 1, 2 on 0, 1 interval as following. A phi k of x is sine pi uh, k pi x for k equals 1, 2, 3 and so on. Let us choose n equals 2. Then the linear combination, the second combination, u2 of x equals a1 sine pi x, a2 sine pi 2 pi x. The red system of equations in the case is L phi 1 phi 1 a 1, L phi 2 phi 1 a 2, phi 1 f and L, L phi 2 f 1 phi 1 a 1, L phi 2 phi 2 a 2 equals this. So we are able to get the coefficients, the entries of the Ritz matrix because we have operator L is minus second derivative, function phi is, is also for k equals 1, phi 2 is for uh, k equals 2, we know then we, we can go to evaluate that uh, entries, that coefficients. Thus we evaluate the Ritz matrix. Good. So the inner product as we see is phi 1 is second derivative, if we if, uh, then phi 1 is si sine pi x, then if we differentiate twice, then we have pi square because operator is minus second derivative and uh, the, the first derivative of sine is cosine, but second is minus sine again. So then we have 
this expression and everybody I think is able to get this interval from 0 to 1 is half pi squared then it will be pi squared over 2. That again everybody can uh, evaluate that this inner product is 0 because the functions phi 1, phi 2 as we know very well, phi 3 and so on are orthogonal in the space Sobolev space so that for the different uh, subscripts phi 1 and phi 2 that is 0 and the same this is also 0 because it is symmetric in fact but this term is again we differentiate, uh, differentiate twice the sine 2 pi x then we come to the coefficient 4 pi square and that expression if we evaluate this is half then we have 4 pi square over 2 or 2 pi square. So the right hand side f phi 1 is minus the, the uh, integral will be from 0 from half to 1 because the function f is 0 from 0 to half. This is easy to get and that uh, integral is minus 4 over pi this, this, this coefficient. And this same thing here we have if we take uh, phi 2 equals sine 2 pi x and if we integrate it will be again again uh, uh, to get uh, four, 4 over uh, 4 over pi uh, good hence we obtain the following decoupled system of uh, two equations decouple means that uh, they are independent we can solve one independently of another so it's a diagonal system so if we divide by pi square over 2 we, we, we have we have uh, a1 star minus 8 over pi cube and uh, if we divide by 2 pi square we come to this uh, solution a2 star equals 2 over pi cube again so the Ritz approximation the Ritz approximation uh, will be u2 of x equals minus 8 over pi cube sine pi x plus 2 over pi cube sine 2 pi x because we know we are in good position because we know that the uh, solution of the boundary value problem it is the function u of x uh, minus x over 2 from x from 0 to half and 2 pi uh, 2x square minus 5 over 2x plus half from half to 1 that is the function this is a weak solution of the boundary value problem um, because uh, it, it is a continuous function but not differentiable at half as we know so we can uh, find we can evaluate the maximal error because we have the approximate solution and we have the theoretical one so the difference between them we can uh, find maximum and maximum is about 0 0.012 quite good approximation by uh, by the Ritz method considering only two terms in the in the approximation thank you